Hey guys, Brick Queen here with my LEGO Teen Titans collection. This video was requested after I reviewed my custom Raven, uh, which you can see there at the end. But let's go ahead and check out each of these figures first. First, we have Robin, the self-proclaimed leader of the Teen Titans. And of course, LEGO has made many different versions of Robin, um, all of which I think are pretty good. But here's the version uh, that I think is most like the Teen Titans version. And uh, all the ones that LEGO made do have second faces, which of course is always nice. And there's the back printing. And I do like this one um, having sleeves. Uh, not all of them do, so that's pretty cool. And next up, we have Beast Boy, which I would love to see LEGO make some different versions. Like, say, uh, a big green gorilla would be awesome, because he does that a lot. Um, he likes that. Um, I think they did a pretty good job just making the regular uh, figure version of him, although Beast Boy is quite a bit shorter than everybody else. I don't think you should have given him uh, short legs, because then he wouldn't have, uh, he wouldn't be able to move his legs. So I like that they went ahead and gave him the regular legs, and he's got some nice printing on the back also. And of course there's his second face. And uh, I know not everybody watches um, Teen Titans Go. I, I read some comments uh, on the last video. People, Some people didn't really like Teen Titans Go, but I do. Um, I do watch the show and I think it's pretty funny. Um, next up we have Starfire, which is a really cool character. I think Lego could have done a little bit better um, on her face is really um, my, my only real complaint. Um, I just don't think the face really fits Starfire that well. Although I do like the hairpiece, I like that a lot. Um, and let me take this off of one hand and you can see her awesome arm printing there. Looks really good. And there's the back with her second face. So I think Starfire is pretty good. The only thing I would change is um, make the face a little bit more accurate uh, to her in my opinion. But then we have Cyborg and those first three, I think all of those uh, were in the Joker Funland set. Uh, this one we got before that came out, and I think they did a really good job on Cyborg. Um, he's got lots of details, lots of printing all over him, and this headpiece that he's got with the hair on one side and his cybernetics on this side looks fantastic. I think they did a really good job designing it and did a good job on him also. And they did give him a little uh, flick fire shooter, which is cool. And then there's the back printing and the second face. So it's a really cool figure. And so far, Lego has not made a Raven figure. So this was the custom one that I made. Um, I'm sure Lego one day will go ahead and make a Raven because then they would have the full Teen Titans. Uh, it's not really the Teen Titans without Raven in my opinion. But I think she's pretty cool. And of course, mine does not have a second face. Uh, or anything like that. Um, it does have a little bit of back printing, but that's just because this torso already had it. Uh, like I said in my review of this, I didn't custom print any pieces. These are all existing Lego parts. I uh, just kind of wanted to put this together so that I would have some version of a Raven figure, and uh, I think it turned out pretty cool. Uh, it does at least look similar to Raven. Of course, it's not perfect because I didn't do any special printing on it, but uh, this way, I do actually have a full Teen Titans collection, and I will definitely be updating this um, if and hopefully when Lego decides to make a real Raven figure. I think it will be fantastic, and I know it will be a lot better than my custom version. But anyway, let me know your thoughts about these in the comments below. Let me know which one is your favorite or any changes you would make, and I will see you guys later.